Hey, hey, good morning, guys. It's really early. It's like uh, a little after five. I am on my way to Mesa, Arizona. Uh, my uncle passed away. He's been sick off and on for the last few years, and he passed away a few weeks ago. So I got some really inexpensive flights, and my flight leaves today, which is what I wanted to do, but um, <laughs> it's a Legion Air that leaves out of Stockton, so there's no flight available to leave until Monday. Uh, so I've got pretty much all day Sunday to kill, so I'm flying my bike out with me. And I'm gonna do some riding. I'm gonna ride out to Pass Tortilla Flats, and I'll take you guys along on the whole journey and trip and see if I can get any other riding done. So I've just arrived at the Stockton Airport, got into parking. Now to get everything out of the truck, I'm gonna get checked in. Checked in, uh, per usual. There's a little bit of drama with the um, bike. Nobody knows what it is, you tell them what it is, and, and, and you tell them, like, you know, it's like 50 bucks. Well, it turns out it would be 50 bucks if I had checked it in before. However, the website doesn't let you check in an oversized item. So the trick is to check in two check bags um, and then it's like half the price. I didn't do that, so I had to pay like full price for the for the check bag, for the oversized bag. So I left my passport in my front pocket. They're like, do you have anything in your pocket? I'm like, uh, my passport. Okay, step over here, sir. <laughs> and I get frisked. And then even some like chemical thing on my hand that, uh, it's so dumb. If you guys ever watch, uh, what is it, Adam Rins Everything, and one of the things he talks about is like uh, the whole security, TSA, checking thing, and just kind of how a lot of it is just kind of bogus. Here in Phoenix, we please follow the signs to baggage plate. If you have questions concerning ground transit, arrived safely on the ground. Um, now to go pick up my bike. So my sister is picking me up. Uh, we rented a car together. Uh, I've got to wait for her to come get me. Okay, so actually check the bike because I want to have to worry about it because you got like a four-hour window to. Um, check your stuff and make sure nothing's broke. The bike is cool other than TSA opened it up and um, lost one of my straps. There's my sister. She, she's my favorite sister. I'm his only sister. She didn't tell you that you wouldn't know. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so this is my cousin James. Meet cousin James. Hello. I've got to go to a bike shop. My aunt doesn't have a, uh, a bike pump so I obviously didn't bring a bike pump and I let the air out of my tires to go on the plane. I also got to pick up some CO2 cartridges, so I'm going to go borrow their pump and put air in my tires. So, uh, quick update, I got my bike all, all dialed in, put together, I should have showed you that. Got over to my cousin's house and just got to chatting and forgot about uh, pulling the camera out. Uh, it, it's mostly just been like, you know, reconnecting with family, then we went to um, the viewing service. And this morning we're going off to the regular service and I'm playing for that because I play uh, piano. Two of my aunts, we all, a bunch of us went to dinner and, and they look kind of similar. So we told the wait staff that they were twins and it was their birthday. And they were singing uh, happy birthday to them. My aunt Eve was going, it's not my birthday. She's getting ready to say it. Like, it's not my birthday. My other aunt, Rachel, who gets, who gets it, gets the joke because she knows we've done something. She's cracking up and she turns around, be quiet, we're gonna get ice cream. So close to the camera. Hey. So John. How you doing? You hosting everybody tonight? Everyone's good. Everything's finally done. Yes. Gonna have some people over tonight. Just chilling now. Yes. Just relax. It's now. been a very long day. Tell me that. Could have went up to the window and be like, yeah, I'm Jonathan. I'm sure, those are my three people. We don't have to involve documentation in your pizza, sir. Thank you. Came out to Costco, pick a bunch of pizzas. A bunch of people are coming over. 
But didn't some of them go to your mom's? Yeah, I don't know. Man. A little bit of drama this morning. The, the, <laughs> there he goes. The route that I put in, it was from my cousin's old address and not his new address. And so, like, I was like, wait a minute, this doesn't, this doesn't look right. This isn't the street. So I had to run back in the house and recreate the route from his current address. So I'm just waiting for it to sink and then uh, get the ride started. So the cool thing about the Wahoo Element is that I can like put these routes in that I can share them with people. So I'm sharing it with my cousin because I'm staying with him. My sister's here, shared it with her. Then uh, of course, Asha always gets a, a text to be able to see where I'm at. And now the route is correct, it's loaded and we're finally ready to go. The air definitely is not as thick out here. I mean like, you can tell it's a drier climate so I can, I can feel it like when you, you breathe it, which isn't bad. So now I'm riding directly into this headwind. It's like really slow going. I think that area where it was at, I was just kind of sheltered from the wind. And it was, I was just flying without even trying. Check this out, guys. I charged my GoPro before I left and the battery's dead. So must have got turned on in the luggage or something. So sorry, no GoPro footage again today. Off into the desert. Mountain biking and gravel riding must just be like insane out here. Now, now that I'm like in the, the edge, the outer outskirts of Mesa, it's like beautiful desert and there's trails and... So, um, I did this route in a hurry and on the map, the road goes through. It looks like the road no longer goes through and it's like really shifty gravel and i'm on a road bike i guess i probably could ride it i don't know so i'm gonna go back and retrace my steps that's all kind of rocky <laughs> looks like uh, those people did the same thing i did because the map says you can go through but apparently it's closed there's a lot of rocks um if it was like this it, it would be fine okay so back out the Wahoo map was freaking out and couldn't reroute me. I went a little bit too far out, so I had to turn around and double back a little bit. But I think I'm on the right road, fellow cyclists. Hey, I'm your left. Have a good ride. Looking forward to getting to the correct road because this road is it's just very, it's a very tacky, bumpy kind of road. I mean, it's not like potholes or anything, it's just, it's not smooth. I pulled over, like climbing the mountain. It's so windy out here, like super windy. Like I'm getting blown around and climbing into just a straight headwind. And then you go into a little canyon area and it dips down and the wind goes away. So that, you know, eases up. I got stuck in this caravan of cars and it was like, I had to go really slow because I'm stuck behind them and then I'm getting in the wash of the truck in front of me and I'm just getting blown around so I just pulled over. It's usually this time of year is supposed to be like not as busy but it's a holiday weekend so there's quite a few cars going up to the lake or something. It just started picking up because it wasn't as busy when I was riding up. With it being a holiday weekend there's a lot more traffic than anticipated and the traffic just really started picking up and it's windy roads. It's, it's slow. It's like 30, 35 miles an hour, but it's so windy and I keep getting caught behind cars and just getting nearly blown off my bike, descending down the mountain. So I'm just gonna turn it around. Kind of bummed that I didn't get make, make it out to Tortilla Flats, but I'm like literally like it's car after car after car and there's trailers and stuff. And I'm like, there's no shoulder and everybody's being nice. I haven't had any issues. It's just, I'd rather not.
Okay, so I stopped at this ghost mine town, cowboy town, whatever. Take a look at the flag. It is, it is really pretty out here. I'm glad I stopped here. Didn't make it to Tortilla Flats, which is where I wanted to go, but it was only like another maybe two miles to Tortilla Flats. I'm no longer following my route. I did the route in a hurry. I didn't clean it up and it had some like weird turns by accident in the very beginning. And so I just turned it off. I'm kind of retracing my steps, but I'm also just exploring and going down some of these country roads. So this one dead ends, but it goes towards the mountain. So I'm, I'm taking it, it's quiet. And this is what I wanted, like a nice quiet road just to ride, there's no cars. My mom was all worried because I'm out here and I've never been out here. She doesn't quite understand that like everything's with maps and stuff and she's worried about me getting lost. So as I, I sent her my, my Wahoo, so she's been following me and sending her pictures to help her feel better. I just saw a coyote, so let's see if we can um, <clears throat> get up on him. And just like that, he disappeared. I saw him turn in here. Man, this, there he is. There he goes, running. Where'd he go? Where'd you go? There you are. He just wants to be left, left about his business and I'm falling and like seeing where he's going. Yeah, there he is again, running. He's looking at me. I saw him on the road from like, like 50 yards away. And, and I don't think he saw me, and then I got closer and closer, and within about 25 yards, man, he ran the other way. I guess let's just stop fiddling with this coyote. Quick little pit stop for some water. And I'm coming through the uh, parking lot here in the gas station, and there's like this crevice of death. Look at the gap on that. It's like, it was like enough to get my tires in, and like almost lost it, unclipped, and managed to not crash. Jeez. I got about nine miles to go, stop for lunch. Been exploring, chasing coyotes. I'm gonna stop at my aunt's first and, and see how she's doing and then go over to my cousin's. And then we're supposed to watch the football game. I don't keep up with football or anything. And that's it, ride's done. You know, a few little uh, challenges today with the route being incorrect. Set me down a couple of wrong roads a few times. But you know, you know what? Still got out to ride. It was pretty cool. Hey guys, another really early flight. This one leaves at like 6.40. So my sister dropped me off. It's a little after five in the morning. I all checked in and managed to not get frisked this time. That said, now I just gotta pick up my bike and get home, go see the kids, miss my family. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.